I think the arts are just like uh, the different ways you can express yourself um, and I don't think it's defined by just like visual art or choir I think that it's um, anything that you really want it to be because it's about creativity and no one can really define creativity because it's specific to each individual person. The arts are not just for, for students in school but for the entire world. Um, they increase the quality of our lives and they make our lives interesting and fun and that's especially uh, important for, for, for students because they have to do work and they have a lot of stuff going on so the arts, it, they really help um, to make their lives more endurable. Over the years, hundreds of studies have shown an undeniable positive correlation between exposure to the arts and improved overall health. But what about arts education? A 2002 report by the Arts Education Partnership revealed that students enrolled in the arts were often more proficient at reading, writing, and math. Similar studies in the coming years found improved graduation rates, fewer disciplinary actions, higher attendance, and so on. By this point, the conclusion was obvious. The greater the arts exposure, the better the student. I joined the IMD probably because I knew a bunch of people who were in it and who really enjoyed it, including my sister. Um, she played harp for symphony and she really liked to, to play in a large group, concerts, to play concerts for the community and, you know, uh, just to be part of something that she could identify with. Um, actually, being in the art program has affected my life a lot. Uh, it's made me decide what I want to do when I grow up and stuff, and uh, I spend a lot of time uh, with it, and I, um, I've met a lot of, I've met new people, I've done things that I probably wouldn't have, like entering competitions and like taking classes at uh, CSA. CIA. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just been, it's really changed my life actually. It's just a, a really fun thing to be a part of. Um, not only just for, you know, the gratification of putting on a great show, but also doing it for the well being of all of your friends. However, following the 2008 recession, 80% of all public schools were forced to make significant cuts, and almost every affected district either discontinued or reduced spending to their arts programs. A study by the Department of Education reported that in 1999, 100% of schools offered music programs, while 20% offered theater and dance classes. By 2009, the number of schools with music programs fell to just 81%, with only 4% offering theater and a mere 3% offering dance. Last year, when the teachers were getting laid off, um, one of my art teachers was getting laid off, and I literally started crying in the middle of school. Like, it was gonna change my high school experience, like, so much. Like, I don't know what I would do without, like, Miss Skeen or, like, art class. Like, that's what I look forward to every single day and what I stay after school and do, and it's just, like, it's everything, and it's what I wanna do when I graduate. I know tons of kids in the IMB who, who's, it's like the only thing they, they have to hang on to. Uh, a lot of people go into it and just by making one cut, it would be devastating to the entire department. It's what a lot of people live for and if you take it away, then a lot of kids who don't have any other outlets would be kind of just hung out to dry. And I think that it's really important that we keep it going because it's a tradition in Cleveland Heights and it, it needs to be sustained. 
arts programs at, at in the district were, were cut, it would just decrease the quality of every student's education overall.